this. Now, we've got Absolutely. some storms possibly this evening? We do, it? mainly overnight. I think the storms will likely not get here until after about 9 o'clock, mm -hmm. maybe actually closer to midnight. But I would like to allow for them starting about 9 or 10 for folks headed to the Eagles game. Just yeah. keep an eye out because you don't want to get stuck outside in a downpour without the sure. proper equipment. So maybe pack the poncho if you're headed to Lincoln Financial Field tonight. Otherwise, the rest of the evening is quiet. Certainly a better evening rush than what we had yesterday with the storms that were firing up across the area today is a whole lot quieter. It's sunny. It's dry. It is still hot, but this is the last day for a while that we're going to be able to use the word hot to describe the forecast, which is welcome news, I'm sure, to many of us. Logan Circle looking really nice tonight. The fountains are on. A lot of people out walking around. It's going to be a nice weekend for those visiting our city as well. Any tourists here visiting the city before the summer draws to a close? Perfect weather to see Philadelphia. Nice weather down the shore, especially Saturday. But as I'll show you, Sunday not looking quite as nice as it was. I'll talk more about that in just a moment. Looks nice for now. Let's take a look at what's going on temperature wise. It's a hot one. It's hot even down the shore today. It's a southwest wind, which means we're not really getting much of that marine influence. So temperatures definitely on the warmer side of normal 90 in Philadelphia right now. 90 in Reading, 90 in Wilmington. It's 93 in Dover. We're sitting at 90 in Atlantic City. If you're headed to the Eagles game tonight at the link, 86 degrees at kickoff. It'll be warm. It will be muggy. Now it's not as humid today as it has been for the past couple of days, so we're not under a heat advisory. But still going to feel pretty steamy out there at kickoff. Once the sun goes down, it will feel a little bit better. Storm Scan 3, though, does show this line of heavy storms and downpours moving toward the area, just pushing towards State College right now. So we've still got a good ways to go before the storms get in. A few up here, though, will drift into the Pocono region within the next couple of hours. So that's the area that'll get hit first. I think this batch of storms doesn't get here until probably 10 o'clock tonight. So you can check out some active radar on our sister station, the CW Philly at 10. And of course, we'll be tracking some storms at 11 here on CBS 3, but right now skies are clear. It's hot. It's a bit humid, not as humid as it was, but there is plenty of moisture for these storms to draw from once they finally arrive. So 8 o'clock, you can see some heavy thunderstorms around the Poconos. It's right around 11 or midnight that we start to see these heavy storms fire up around the city. Again, they're not everywhere. This is not a heavy soaking rain for the entire region, but the problem is this front is going to be slow to clear. We're going to have showers around right into the midday and afternoon hours tomorrow. Gradual clearing through the afternoon and evening. We may see some late day sun. Then Saturday looks a whole lot better with high pressure building in and lots of sunshine. Overnight downpours late, muggy 70 degrees. Tomorrow showers through at least the first half of the day. Some of our models have showers hanging around until 4 or 5 in the afternoon, but clouds will break for some of us. Best chance to see sun is in our north and west suburbs tomorrow. I think it's a cloudy and damp day down the shore all the way through. Saturday looks beautiful. A few more clouds I've added to Sunday and Monday thanks to more of an east wind. That'll impact the shoreline more than it will impact the city, but it will stay on the cool side. Tuesday's pretty nice, and then we warm up just a little bit into the middle of next week. But mm -hmm. it's going to be a refreshing change. Even if we oh, have yeah. more clouds in the sky, mm -hmm. 70s. It's going to feel great after the stretch of heat. Oh, yeah, I'm, sure, I'm welcoming it. No yes, doubt. Yes, I know it. you are. <laughs> Thank you so much, Katie. Sure. Well,